Hello everybody, uh, this is about uh, an astrology report video, uh, we're talking about the week of uh, September 4th, September 11th, and uh, 2016. Um, first of all, you know, to begin with, uh, uh, we had the new moon on Virgo. Uh, that new moon on Virgo was, uh, and it's gonna be uh, of learning how to heal, learning how to uh, specifically to look inside and what it needs to be fixed and what needs to be uh, worked on it. Uh, beginning the new moon uh, to remind you about what happened is that uh, the moon met uh, Mercury, met uh, Jupiter, met uh, Venus. Uh, that was yesterday. And Venus, uh, when uh, that healing started happening, that was about healing uh, the love. Uh, healing something that uh, you wanted to do about the love in the relationship or something that... Uh, you had to work that out uh, in the name of love. So uh, today, specifically as us right now, uh, what's going on and uh, I'm talking about New York time. Uh, so you have to picture it in your time length, uh, what's going on of the time difference. So you can look at the chart if you want to. Uh, currently in New York, it's 7 p.m. 7 15 p.m. and right now the moon it's uh, 23 degrees 22 minutes uh, in Libra which is opposing uh, 180 degrees uh, Uranus who is a uh, retrograde so uh, what I'm trying to tell you with this is that uh, you will face uh, the opposition of uh, what uh, uh, Uranus uh, says, uh, I am the universe, and right now you are opposing uh, the universe, and you look at uh, these emotions about partnership, and you try to go against uh, the universe, and the universe will basically put you to sleep if you go against it. Uh, what I mean, put you to sleep? You will feel like you are powerless to fight this. You will feel the Uranus is so powerful right now in uh, in areas. Uh, this uh, fire power that is like, you know what, you don't listen now. Uh, I will take the power away from you. So you don't have to fight. Uh, it's been given to you. You better listen. And that's why Uranus is very, very powerful. And it's got this trine uh, going on beginning with Mars, which is Mars in Sagittarius. And Mars right now, it's like, yes, I'm the warrior, but a warrior with meditation and I'm fighting for the right, the right cause. Uh, and this uh, powerful uh, trine is going to be for a little while that uh, is going on. Um, so for right now, the moment, the way it is, is that you're going to be entering uh, the week, uh, beginning the, I'm talking about beginning next week on Monday, uh, the moon is going to be, start traveling with uh, Scorpio. And um, to take a look at uh, what's going to happen on Monday, uh, specifically, um, We're going to be looking at 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, New York time. The moon is going to be 29 degrees of uh, Libra. And there's still going to be this opposition felt uh, about the partnership, relationship, marriage. Kind of like a rethinking uh, what is going on. And whatever the universe will say you do not need it uh, is going to tell you uh, during a... Uh, um, this uh, this Monday morning shift uh, because the moon at uh, um, 1 p.m. the moon is gonna be at 2 degrees in Scorpio and uh, it's gonna be start feeling like you know what uh, I need to remove uh, some of the stuff 
uh, people who don't tell me the proper things, people who doesn't appreciate me, people who they say something but they're not what they say. Um, there's gonna be this uh, rethinking as a Scorpio who is like, you know what, I hate liars, I don't care what's going on, but you need to be honest. Um, the other part that uh, Scorpio has is uh, really, really to um, have this inner vision of uh, looking at what it's underneath the surface. And uh, you will be start having those capabilities to dig deep uh, Monday morning, what uh, is going on. And over Monday, uh, you will have this uh, beginning a lot of that uh, digging up will be, let's say around 7 p.m., uh, the moon uh, is gonna be uh, having a trine with the event horizon, which is the ascendant, is gonna become that power on it. And uh, later on, she's gonna be meeting a uh, few of the, um, few of the asteroids on it and it's gonna be like posting uh, providing some information yes this is what it is uh, this is what's happening that's uh, digging it up and we're looking that uh, even uh, Tuesday uh, Tuesday morning uh, the moon is actually it's gonna be 11 degrees in Scorpio and um, it's gonna try and uh, the, return, the retrograde uh, um, the retrograde Neptune which is in Pisces uh, it's about hope uh, you to have the new hope uh, on it but hope for the soul relationship so because um, Neptune it's also retrograde so there is a four retrograde planets right now they, the energy is so crazy about um, they are very powerful shifting an energy for uh, the soul and uh, to begin on Tuesday uh, this is gonna be again the same presence uh, the moon is gonna be in Scorpio continue you like a battling uh, over uh, Wednesday morning exact uh, the same thing uh, there is one thing though the universe is gonna be giving you uh, this uh, kind of like direction of what you need to do what you need to go I'm talking about seven o'clock in the morning Wednesday morning uh, there's gonna be this uh, uh, finger of God which is a sextile of uh, two planets and the finger point is one and uh, this uh, finger of God is going to be made uh, specifically for uh, um, Mercury which is to remind you he's the messengers of God and um, the moon and Uranus is going to be on a very tip finger so basically Uranus is going to be providing this uh, huge power this huge message on a Wednesday morning of uh, what uh, you need to hear about everything that has been happening so beginning Thursday morning uh, the moon it's entering uh, Sagittarius and it is going to be some lots and lots of intense energies uh, a lot of squares um, we're talking about that the, the moon will square uh, Neptune it's like oh my gosh I have no hope about this Saturn uh, is gonna be uh, he's still squaring uh, uh, Neptune and uh, squaring also the Sun still and this is gonna be like I mean you didn't learn the lesson you're gonna be learning again you can't just go and do things they need to do uh, get your crap together and meditate do what you have to do but you need to learn 
there is a blockages they need to be worked on it and that's what Saturn represents with the rings the blockage it represents the secret part inside and uh, what uh, the other square is also that um, um, Mars is uh, squaring the Sun and, uh, and Virgo and this will create a tensions energy like <sighs> but they won't be that powerful they're about you to seek uh, what uh, is really 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 uh, going on and some of you is gonna be like what the f and what the yeah uh, but it's about you to look up it's about you to dig up and in deep inside that's why this new moon and the healing is is, is gonna grind in you to dig inside of you and when the moon enters uh, Sagittarius it's actually to remind you to push you in a state of meditation you will be uh, feel this tensions of okay there is a lot of things I need to fix I'm talking about Thursday morning September 8th and uh, we're gonna continue going okay. Friday Friday the moon is going to be right in the middle of Sagittarius and that energy of I just described uh, it's going to be shrink it's going to put more pressure to you just like it's going to become more precise uh, on it because simply the moon is going to be between Saturn and uh, Mars and uh, there's gonna be some squares of uh, the Sun uh, Mercury uh, Saturn is gonna be continued squaring Mars is gonna squaring uh, the Sun continue to it but uh, also Mars is gonna start having a trine with uh, Uranus uh, pretty pretty powerful and this is gonna be those tension energies uh, on Friday you're gonna be at work and you're gonna be like I just want this day to end can I just go home or get uh, out of here you need to realize that the moon creates those emotions and if you overcome the emotion you're gonna be able to see these things so what I'm saying with this astrology report right now is that what the energy is going to be present how are you acting this energy though by it's your business you got to be very careful how you react uh, on that part so um, Saturday uh, the moon is going to be exiting uh, Sagittarius and uh, on Saturday morning We'll bring up a little bit more about noon we're talking about one o'clock uh, the moon wants to do something to you to be profound into it it's time for you to do the actions of uh, your learnings it's time for you to make the decisions to do things there will be the time that uh, you won't create a program you want to take charge you want to take action you want to take commitment uh, you want to make something firm and something uh, that uh, design of what uh, Capricorn represents cardinal change and this is the moment of the new moon energy that uh, it's gonna be start squaring uh, the Sun later on uh, because of um, uh, it's gonna be trying the Sun I'm sorry not squaring uh, it's gonna be trying the Sun and uh, this uh, energy beginning uh, Sunday we're gonna be very very good of this uh, cardinal change uh, about the next uh, Sunday but Saturday uh, let's gonna look a little bit more we're talking about Saturday afternoon 
the moon is going to be five degrees uh, in, uh, in uh, Capricorn and those five degrees she's going to be aspecting Jupiter and Jupiter is going to be entering Libra and at this moment what I'm going to say about that uh, Jupiter is going to be entering growth within a relationship and that growth uh, within the relationship is going to be start feeling a really 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 uh, in good position uh, currently to remind you that uh, Venus right now it is uh, in Libra and this is the very powerful position of Venus to be there Venus it's home the love it's home and people feel this power of love inside of them and right now Venus it's 14 degrees of Libra and uh, to remind you that Pluto it's 14 degrees of Capricorn and creates a square why those two will affect uh, so much with this uh, new moon and I'm talking about the moon is because of Pluto it's about uh, Pluto creation the surrounding the things that it's untouchable and also it's a power part of the hidden the hidden the influence uh, the unseen the untouched something that exists but you can not touch specifically Pluto right now is retrograde and he's in the Capricorn which is mean public service Capricorn represents the public service and when the love and a public service uh, are squaring together there is a learning uh, to be done and when the moon is entering right now Capricorn is going to start providing this emotion energy inside of you and specifically about the twin flames when uh, the moon uh, really uh, gonna be uh, together during uh, this period uh, it's gonna be getting more close and close uh, to Pluto you're gonna feel this uh, tense energy about uh, you to do the right thing and we're talking about uh, Sunday uh, morning that energy is gonna be very strong and by Sunday afternoon or basically I will say noon by one o'clock the moon is gonna be 14 degrees uh, in Capricorn and uh, is gonna be completely together with uh, with Pluto and this energy with uh, this square with uh, Venus is gonna be um, very powerful and um, the same time uh, the train with the Sun uh, which the Sun is a 19 degrees and Virgo is gonna be uh, a very good of you to look at it uh, and learn that lesson of service of love why is that going on so that's about the next week and I appreciate your comments. I hope this report helps you out. And uh, I will talk to you next week. Be loved.